Mad Jack. So we're looking, we're playing, uh, we're picking up, let me rephrase that, we're picking up with, um, with Norman here. Okay, we're picking up with Norman, he's looking for a fellow named Mad Jack who supposedly stole his car back a while. Um, so we gotta find Mad Jack and see if the killer had used his stolen, that stolen car that he stole uh, for the murder. So right now we're kind of following up a lead, see if this Mad Jack is involved. Cuba trip to Kane. Got it in my pocket. Yeah, he's been getting high off of this trip to Kane stuff, which is not good. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Trip to Kane is like, he's using it for like Blake anxiety or something. I don't think I'm gonna miss him. Nope. The scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Yeah. Goddamn rain. Soaking wet. Mad Jack. AKA so we're looking Jackson for Jackson Neville. Neville. This guy's got a criminal record of lying to my arm. Better be careful. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Might be. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Morris still alive. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> okay, so... We gotta get our asses in the gear then. And I think... Wasn't there a weird thing... Trying to see if I could use that Ari. I guess not. The lights are on. Somebody should be around here, right? You think? Yeah, somebody's in the cane, the crane here, excuse me. Hey fella. Can you stop that thing? Almost looks like the dude we were looking for. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Okay, that's a start. Can we go inside? Looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Mm. Perhaps I can help Pretty you. Pretty sure this is the fellow I was looking for. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. Yep, it is the fella. You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna take a walk. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Yeah, it's not good. No, I don't want to take them all. I want to... Mm-hmm. Oh! That's a human skull, homie. Um, yep. One of your cop buddies asking two <clears throat> questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Come on, they always got a second head, piece on him. 
I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Uh, ah, oh, ah, eat. Oh. Oh shit. Woo. Ole. Ole. Nope. Not the nuggets, my dude. Ouch. Damn. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, shit. Yeah, homie. Now what? <clears throat> Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh <laughs> Damn I you out of your motherfucking mind. That's a health impression. Oh, shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Damn, homie, he losing his shit. Stop yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm starting to remember. <laughs> you, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the question in kind. He said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything. Oh, that's not the time for that shit. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Yeah, let's not have any backup, I think. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Somebody go get shot. I'm surprised he didn't jump Norman when he had a chance, but Norman do. Uh, does still have the gun in his hand, too. Turn around. That's a big dude. Oh, my bad. What the hell? I lost my stream. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> my bad. My capture card decided to have a shit fit. Are we good? Oh, good thing it was in between cutscenes. I hope that don't happen again. I'd be real pissed. You think the origami killer killed Manfred? Who knows? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Yeah. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If Why he not? was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. Yeah. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Yeah, uh, probably. No chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. I think is this is okay his room here in the kitchen. I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. God, he's got one of them old ass fridges. Woo! Damn, old stove, too. Would have been like original Philadelphian house, man. Dang. I 
Oh, man. It's more like a flat arm. Should be ready by now. Rather than scrambled. But I'm not gonna argue. It's more like like an omelet. But hey, I mean, well, it's a fried, completely fried egg, technically. Still. Hey, man, it's food. I'm sure, she don't mind. <coughs> I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. <laughs> Looks better on you. <laughs> hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. Damn. Shots fired. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. That's oh, down to 30 people. Out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. Yeah, in the next 24 that's hours, that's a lot, yeah. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to origami <coughs> magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. That's a, that's a thought. It's a thought. He's just like, God damn, I'm so tired. <laughs> A royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. <coughs> his name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. <laughs> hey, man, she wants to find the killer uh, of, of, her, of her little baby, man, of her, of her son. I don't blame her. I do not blame her. Thirty people, and then he said five hundred in the uh, the magazine list. Oh, it looks like she found somebody. What we got? The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Nobody be finding That's you that way. To find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here. John somewhere. Shepard, huh? You never give up, do you? Is that the point? Okay, I'm willing to bet that the old lady over here has knows something. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for. Uh, huh? Well, don't worry about it. I can manage alone. Well, she's in front of a grave of Tim Miller, so. Okay. Uh huh. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Huh. Oh, she said boy at the age of 10, so. Okay, next plot. So, I guess this one here. Some of these are awfully big graves for. Kids. I guess I'm just following her. Okay, so I was in the correct side. Oh yeah, children plot. I see it. Okay. 
so Shepherd, I think I don't know if these go by alphabetical or oh, no. Okay. Uh, it's not letting me look at some of these. I think that's a Virginia so quick. Sanchez. I was going too far. Roy Smith. Mitchell. That one, you can't see it. Oh, maybe I'm on the wrong side. Sometimes they have them on different sides. Lopez. Oh look, look on the top of the gravestone too. Or not on the top, but like on the edge. And there's orchids in the front These flowers too. Flowers are fresh. Yep. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. And that looks like That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, those aren't oh, orchids. Youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepherd? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Okay, that's a start. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. October, huh? Yeah, go for nothing, hoodle, and get the hell out of here! What the Oh, okay, this is the back story. God, beat it! You lousy, no good brat! Come back when you fucking... Comes from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Yeah, I hear that. Come on, let's go play. Poor kid. Bitch can't catch me. <laughs> Remember running outside in the rain on my bicycle, me and my buddy, and uh. <clears throat> it started hailing of all things. What that sucked. <clears throat> we were in the middle of the woods too, so it's not like we had any coverage. Real coverage. We were lucky we made it to the street and underneath a roof. Looks like we're in a construction zone or something. So, that kind of makes sense. Um, if this is a construction zone, I wonder if this is where the um, power plant might be. Because that would make sense how the killer would know about the power plant. That's what it kind of looks like, but it's definitely some kind of construction zone of some sort. Kids should not be playing in construction zones. Now where do you run off to? Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of rebar. Yeah, homie, you guys should not be fucking around in here. Rebar is no joke. <laughs> Just bumped into it with his face. Ran into this one. Come on! Ow. I told you to watch your head. <laughs> you dumbass. Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slow poke. Shut up. You're just an asshole, is what you are.
This kid about to get his ass beat. I hope, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I hope the one that's being a dickhead, I hope that one's John Shepard. And I could kind of believe it, like, if he's the asshole one. Jeez, you're nothing but a God, kid, shut Jeez, the fuck up. You're nothing kid, but a slow shut the fuck up. <laughs> My little bastard. Come on, loser. I honestly hope this asshole kid, I hope that one's John, supposedly. But that would make sense with his shitty attitude. Um, that he would be a killer. Come on, really? Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize this was freaking Ninja Warrior. Okay. All right, Bruce Willis, chill out there. You don't need to do this. It's too hard for you. No chance. I can do it all right. Just you watch. One of them is going to fall and crack their heads. Obviously, we know one of them is going to die, but I don't know if that's going to be the one I'm playing as or if it's the asshole kid. <clears throat> Like, seriously. John, wait for me. Yeah, the asshole kid is John. Good. Fuck him. Unless I have a feeling... Oh, Christ. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I don't like this. Really? I don't like this shit. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. There we go. Come on. Just jump. Thank you. <laughs> Christ. Come on. Alright, so the kid with the black jacket is John. Supposedly. Oh. Um, so it's possible that um, either John dies here or the other kid dies and pretends that it was him. Is it this one? Oh, oh. Where the hell did he go this time? I didn't see where he went. No, he just crossed over here. Where the hell did he go? By the way, I just know these kids are a bunch of idiots. Whoa. <laughs> it's like who has the bigger balls? Let's play hide and seek. No. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? I have a feeling you're not gonna find John. One, two, three. Well, I take it back. I have a feeling you're gonna find John, but John ain't uh five, ain't gonna look so pretty. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
Oh no, I can skip. I can see that, but. 
you want answers, always go to a bar. me with ugly ass jacket. Cool. So he owns the bar. Okay, that makes sense why he's with some underground shit. I'm not saying all business owners are underground assholes, but in this case. Camera angle is painting it. Okay. Damn it. Oh, okay. What the frick? Let me in or not? Pick one. Unless you have like a hell of a mini dress in that purse of yours, good luck. What the? I don't like how my right thumbstick just does not seem to be registering. girl. Oh yeah, or check that, definitely. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, creepy bastards. I'm telling her to scream. It's your lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. You know around here, honey? I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Baco. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Oh. I like the way you move, Madison. You're making me all <laughs> hot on the bastard. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, what happens when you think with your dick? <laughs> oh, I'm losing. Get out of my way. Go up the stairs. Lady, get your ass out of my face. Like, get out of my way. <clears throat> this guy is truly revolting. Ugh. Everything is gonna be alright. I have a plan, I know exactly what I'm doing. This is no time to get squeamish. Even if my legs do feel like they're about to give away. I feel that. Just follow him to his office. Ugh, gross. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. <clears throat> Everything's gonna be alright. Yeah, let's go Everything shoot, you know, let's go right. hold up the dude who runs this club that clearly some underground shit. So, welcome to my little kingdom. Oh, I just gotta <laughs> chill. Dick the fish tank, though, but what's up with you and Seeper Print, my dude? Oh, in the cheesy just get in the way of 70s the porn music, ugh. So... Show me what you can do. Take it off. Slowly. Alright, this this Take might end up being a bit uh uh could could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. Oh, we already broke the ice. Ugh. Let's get away. This is so bad. Come on. Do your thing, girl. Uh, could, could we just talk first? Oh, no. We don't need any more talking. Uh. I'll talk now. <coughs> now, show me what you can do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I, I'll just go. She's chicken no, and now. He's not gonna like that. Another time. Sure, he got kidnapped. Oh fuck. I think you are misunderstood. Uh. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. I never. Oh god, creepy uh. bastards. A few moments later. Baby sweet case. Ah, right in the face. Two minutes later. Two. Let's hear lover boy sing. Sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> She's just street slaps him. Slap him again. Wake up, bitch. <clears throat> if 
you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? I don't know why she used her own gun. Use what his. You want? Use his gun on Marble Street. to threaten him. I want to know why. And then wipe the prince. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh! You fucking bitch. I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to know balls when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? <laughs> That's one way. Anyway. If you value those prized balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Oh. Oh. His nuggets. He's a kid, the song guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Oh, ah! oh God, she's gripping him and twisting, gripping and twisting. Uh, Shepard, name is John Shepard. That's all I know. I swear it. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Woohoo! I really appreciated this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Nah, screw that. I wouldn't have knocked his ass out. I mean, should knock him back out and then leave. That way he can't call his homies. I would have knocked the dude out first and then left because you know he's gonna call for his homies. I'm gonna have to run out of here. With all these people, who knows where the friggin' door's at? Maybe the door's back here? Yeah. Maybe get out of here. Go. 